Hey guys, I need to plan this week, or this coming week as starts tomorrow, and my Hobonichi cousin, because I've got to write some stuff in it, and I just got behind and didn't film it until now. So I'm going to use the Jessica Hart sketchbook um, kit for this. It's made for the Hobonichi cousin. So we're going to put this down. So let's put this down together and see how this works out. I haven't used a lot of Jessica Hart's kit in my Hobo cousin, but um, I do love Jessica Hart's for my plum paper, so let's just get on it. Put the washi tape down at the bottom. Try to get it on straight. Alright, that's pretty good. We have butterflies, it's really pretty. I like it. Hope you guys can see. Because it's down at the bottom. So I'm doing the best I can to keep it in frame and whatnot. Okay. So both of the washies are down, super pretty. Now I have these two right here that are like decorative. I'm not entirely sure, what did I do last time I used a Jessica Hearts kit? It's been a while since I used a Jessica Hearts kit. I usually don't use those in here, okay? I put them up here and down here, so that's what I wanna do again. So I'm gonna put the white one down here though, just because I want some contrasting color. And then I will put the black one up here. We're going to putting those on upside down. Don't care. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Let me see if I put it close to the top or right at the six o'clock mark. One second. I'm just checking how it laid out because I want it to all fit. I put it at the five o'clock mark. This is what we're going to do again. Uh, don't stick that down because I know it will like not come back up unless it's straight. <laughs> There we go, so that's straight. Give it a little color up here. And then not, because I didn't want to put that black on top of this black. I thought that would be a little too much black. All right, I know I used this for my weekend sticker. So I'm gonna put this down for that. I'll just write weekend on it. There we go. And let me grab a pen to do that with. I'll just use my regular pen. Okay, so that's the weekend. Um, let's put the dates down. Monday is the 30th. And then Tuesday. How, how is this the 31st? Okay, because we're starting. My mind is blown. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we'll put these down for the date stickers. First one. There's the second one. I'm trying to get these straight, but it's hard when they're way up at the top. Third one. Fourth one. And right, so I got the dates down. Let's see what else. I got some boxes here that are just gorgeous. Um, got it upside down, sorry about that. But I'm 100% gonna use this rose sticker down here. That is so pretty. That's happening. And then I'm gonna use this one up at the top. And then I'll leave this in the middle. I'll put a couple of these black stickers throughout here. Um, I'm not sure what day I'll be super busy or not. Let me see how I typically did them in here. I'm gonna put these two stickers down just the same. Um, put one of them up here. Um, let's put another one. Down here, I don't really want to put it down at the bottom though, that's the thing, but it looks like I'm gonna to have to. That one down at the bottom. Can you see me drop the page? 
And then I've got these other decorative stickers. I don't have, oh, I do. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a tracker box. So I want to make sure I get my trackers in so that I can use those. And I will use both of them. So I'm putting both of them in here. There we go. And then I'm going to put some of this decor in places. So let's see. This is just beautiful. I want to put something right here. So let's put this right there. A little quote sticker. It goes right there. That's beautiful. I'm going to put this sticker up here at the top. So I can use it. Because I won't write anything at that time of day. And let's stick these other like decorative ones. Put one on the weekend because I doubt I'll do anything much then. Let's put this at the bottom here. Oops, I put that on completely crooked. Fortunately, this pulled up easily. Just in case I have to write something down, I'm going to scoot it over. <laughs> Some butterfly stickers. There. Some leaf stickers. here. Just some in general flower stuff we're going to throw at the bottom down here just to make it pretty. Then I just have some just random flowers that I'm going to stick on here. Just these tiny little flowers that came in the kit. And I'm just going to decorate it up. There we go. So I got all the decorative stickers down um, and now we can start planning what's going on. I'm going to make sure that I put some stickers in here where they go. Put some sticker on Monday. Oops, that's crooked. Fortunately, these pulled up pretty easy earlier, so I'm going to see if I can straighten it. I don't always have the courage to do that but it seemed that earlier it came up so I'm gonna pull it up again. I'm gonna put a few of these here and there because I will write something in them. Do not worry. I'm gonna spread them out and then I'll just write right on the paper for the other stuff. There we go. I don't really use the time format. I just like go in order for the day. So I don't really care where the sticker actually is. I'm just gonna write on or around it. So I hope you guys like this kit. It's really pretty. It's gonna be super pretty when it's done. Again, so I can make some lists if I need to. Put some to-do stickers in there. Then I have these little hearts. I'm going to throw these down as well. I'll write some stuff beside them. So I used every sticker on this page. I have a few more stickers on this page. I'm going to use that to-do sticker from here for the weekend. You can put a little list right there. Put some of these hexagons down because I can put stuff down beside them as well. I'll use up here. These over here, and let's see, work goals, let's see, I'm going to put work over here, and I'm going to grab a highlighter that I think will match the kit, I have my list of colors over here. So I can pick a color that I think will match the kit. 
this cool gray will match and what color pink i think i will use do i have a pink this color it doesn't appear to i feel like i have a pink that color though i feel like this might work just fine this is the blush one i know it's not exactly the same color wish i had a cooler pink but i'll use that and i'll use the gray one um, so I'll try these two. I still don't have a burgundy one that's quite that color. Let me see if I have a mild one of that color. I do not have a mild one of that color either. So I will use um, these two and put down some stickers. I'm going to put one down on Monday for work. For things that I need to do. So I'm going to turn this a little bit sideways and make sure it's still in frame. I'm going to grab this cool gray one. I'm going to highlight a big swash right there to put this work sticker on top of. And then whatever I need to do to work for the week, I'm going to put in this list down here. And then um, overview, projects, goals, dinners. Um, I don't really need that down, so I don't need any of these other stickers. I'll put this little blushy sticker down like here somewhere in case I want to write something on it and then just use it as it. But I do have these few little things here that I will stick in my spare sticker kit. I want to grab another to-do um, sticker. You'll see I'm fixing to push these into here and I do have more of them from my other sticker kits. But I'm going to push these dinners, notes, projects, overview, and goals, because I won't use these this week anyway. Doesn't mean I won't use them, I just won't use them this week. So now the sticker sheet is empty, so I can remove it, but I do need another to-do sticker. Now I have these ones that came off of those kits. She apparently has changed her font. I would like to remain in the same font, so I may steal it off of another kit. Just give me one second to grab the old kit this time. The scraps. And I will pull that sticker off of one. I'm just going to take the to-do sticker off of one of these because it looks like I said she changed her font. But that's fine. I'm going to pull it off anyway with one of these other kits because yeah, I want to put the to-do to match in the same font over here. Oops, don't stick that down yet. It's crooked. Because, like I said, she did change fonts, and I want to make sure that I am consistent with the same font and at least the same kit, because I can always, like, instead of putting that to-do down, I can use two of the other scripts. Because I don't use any of the other script stickers anyway. So there we go. So now I have that down. Let me look through here and see if I have anything else that matches that color scheme that I can put down because I would like a couple of more things in here. Um, as far as let's see, I have a gray one of those, not the same color gray though. I'm trying to see if I have any scrap stickers. These are nice, I like the glitter. I may put a couple of those down here and there to write on because I think these will fit in there mostly. Yeah, so I'm going to grab a couple of these and put them in like this. Oops, come on. Don't... Oh, it came up easily again, so no worries. Excuse me while I add the glitter down. Okay, so that glitters down, and I'm going to put a couple more to make sure it's not the only one. Put one down here. Because I need more of these boxes, was the whole point. Put right on. And I had a bunch of these, so I'm going to mix them in with the kit. And it'll be fine. Let me get one more, if I have one more of those. Yep, I do. I'm gonna put it up here. 
so there we go so now i've added some glitter and everything in here and i think it looks pretty good um i can put my to-do list here i'll use my dot markers for that but i think i'm pretty satisfied with the way it turned out and i got to use some of my extra stickers out of my overflow book and um i think i like it let me know what you think about this layout and like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye